and a young diamondback rattlesnake. By the way, the eastern diamondback uh, does get to be the largest venomous snake in the United States. Um, we just one on record with over eight feet, but uh, you rarely see one over six feet today. This one is a young adult, not quite very grown, and the bigger snakes are, of course, stronger and harder to hold, and so in this case, we have an extra hand on the body. That snake is ready to die. And all he wants to have now is something to put those long things. Look how much look how much gentleman is in the bottom of the collecting class already. Uh, I'm just glad that snake didn't bite me. That was a lot of fun. See how long the fangs are? You see there's a long, sharp fang on each side of the snake's jaw. Those fangs are approximately three quarters of an inch long. They're very sharp, they're sharp as needed. And they have a little small opening right in the tip of the fang. In fact, it works exactly like a hypodermic injection, like a hypodermic needle. If you're bitten by a venomous snake, you receive a double, you receive a double injection of venom all at once. And it's all in a fraction of a second when the snake hits. Already have a good collection of diamond back down there. We got, uh, I believe, three more snakes to go. So let's see what else is going to happen. Oh, a smaller snake. He was buried under a fish. Okay. And that one was buried under a big one. Okay. All right. Uh, putting the protective shield over the snake's head. Let the snake put his head all the way back under it. And then gets him right behind the jaw. That snake is opening his mouth already. He is ready to bite. And as soon as his fangs hit the top of that flask, usually he will. There goes the gun. And uh, stimulating, he's stimulating glands on each side of the head a little bit. He's uh, punching him with his finger a little bit. Not putting any pressure, not massaging the glands, but. Um, just a little extra stimulation, maybe that snake will bite one more time because they never release all the venom in one bite. They always save it. They always save it in case they have to bite again. That's not That man has been handling snakes for more than 50 years and seen them run over the long three times. That, that was a mark of an expert snake hand. Um, he probably will not get bitten. He probably won't get to see that. Because uh, I don't want to put the gents on him. But in case he does, there's no extra charge for the end time. Two hands on that snake, and sometimes his, uh, the snake will... Uh, throw a whip snap down through his body like, like the cracking of a whip and the handle only had one hand on him not two that snake has come right out of his hand that's happened to a lot of people but we know that so we, we're prepared for it look at the orange juice in the bottom of that flag building up give him one more chance to see if he's mad enough to give us another shot these snakes are handled as gently as possible. Uh, we do not press them down and put pressure on the head to pin them like a lot of people do to do this. Uh, we'll call it under a more humane method by just putting up and taking the shield over here and taking the pressure. This is snake number four. Is that snake number four? Ow! One more. I think it's just okay. crazy. Here's number four. Okay, this is the last one. Yeah. Hope we get another good contribution. There goes the fangs. The fangs, the fangs you see are so long that they have to fold up in the snake's mouth. And the snake closes his mouth and they're covered by a protective shield. They come out from the snake's side. Stimulate the venom gland a little bit by the side. Oh, 
And incidentally, the Eastern Diamondback is the one which uh, a new blood pressure medicine has been made from. The name of it is uh, Capsicum.